Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 most famous mosques in Iran. So before starting this video, like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. With their intricate geometric designs, fine artwork, and stunning vibrant colors mosques in Iran are a sight to behold. So whether you're a visitor or a local, these beautiful holy places are sure to enchant you no end. Architecturally speaking, few places can contend with the mosques that Iran has to offer. It's the blend of geometric designs, symmetry, and vibrant colors that dazzle the eyes of visitors and locals alike. Watch on to discover the 10 most beautiful mosques in Iran. Number 10. Shah Chera, Shiraz. Shah Chera is a mosque and tomb of twin brothers who were the sons of the seventh Shia Imam. With its detailed tiles, gold-dipped minarets, and blue dome, it might look like your ordinary mosque from the outside, but it's the inside that is jaw-dropping with its thousands of angled shards of glistening mirror that reflect light. It's no wonder the name of this mirrored mosque translates to King of Light. The tombs became celebrated pilgrimage centers in the 14th century, when Queen Tashi Katan erected a mosque and theological school in the vicinity. The site was given this name due to the nature of the discovery of the site by Ayatollah Dasthaib, the great-grandfather of the contemporary Ayatollah Dasthaib. He used to see light from a distance and decided to investigate the source. He found that the light was being emitted by a grave within a graveyard. The grave that emitted the light was excavated, and a body wearing an armor was discovered. Number 9. Nazir ol Malk Mosque, Shiraz. This architectural masterpiece is commonly thought to be the most breathtaking in Iran. Nicknamed the Pink Mosque due to its various rose-hued tiles, Nazir ol Malk is a prime location to spend your morning in Shiraz as sunlight streams in through the stained glass windows and reflects off the Persian rugs, something that is sure to inject you with a dose of spirituality, no matter what your beliefs may be. The mosque was built during the Qajar dynasty, and is still in use under protection by the endowment foundation of Nazir al Malk. Construction began in 1876 by the order of the late Hassan Ali Nazir al Malk, one of the lords and aristocrats of Shiraz, the son of Mirza Ali Akbar Kavim ol Malk, the ruler of Fars, and was completed in 1888. The designers were Muhammad Hassan e Mehr, an Iranian architect who had also built the noted Aram Garden. Before the Nazir al Malk Mosque, Muhammad Husseini Shirazi, and Muhammad Rez Shizedi Sirzi. Number 8. Imam Mosque, Esfahan Esfahan's Imam Mosque, one of the country's finest, is known for its blue hued tiled walls that exude an almost celestial vibe. While it's most revered for its Islamic calligraphy, open iwans, special acoustic properties, and symmetrical arcades, it's the domes that seem to captivate visitors, many of whom lie down to contemplate the various mosaics without straining their necks. It is regarded as one of the masterpieces of Persian architecture in the Islamic era. The Royal Mosque is registered, along with the Nash e Jahan Square, as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its construction began in 1611, and its splendor is mainly due to the beauty of its seven color mosaic tiles and calligraphic inscriptions. The mosque is depicted on the reverse of the Iranian 20,000 Riles banknote. The distinct feature of any mosque is the minaret, and the Mashed e Shah has four. Still, in Persian mosques, tall minarets were considered unsuitable for the call to prayer, and they would add an adicule, known in Persian as a goldist, bouquet, for this particular purpose, which in the Mashed e Shah stands on top of the West Iwan. Number 7. Sheikh Lotfalar Mosque, Esfahan. A stone's throw from Imam Mosque is Sheikh Lotfalar Mosque, best recognized for its defiantly off center dome and lack of minarets. The cream hued tiles shift colors as the sun moves throughout the day giving him a pinkish tint at times. The dome is without a doubt the focal point of attention with its arabesque designs that become smaller as they approach the center. Construction of the mosque started in 1603 and was finished in 1619. It was built by the chief architect Muhammad Reza Isfahani during the reign of Shah Abbas I of Persia. On the advice of Arthur Upham Pope, Reza Shah Pahlavi had the mosque rebuilt and repaired in the 1920. Number 6. Fatima Masume Shrine, Om. If your plans have you just passing through Om, Fatima Masume Shrine will make you reconsider. One of Iran's lesser known places of worship, this stunning mosque is named for the sister of Imam Reza, the eighth Shia Imam whose shrine is in the holy city of Mashhad. The geometric patterns and floral motifs around the grand entrance nooks add a uniquely feminine touch to this immaculately decorated, spacious shrine, where notable burials ranging from royalty to scholars to clerics are also located. 
During Ayatollah Khomeini's 1979 Iranian Revolution, Om was named the birthplace of this movement. Khomeini studied in Om and lived there at the beginning and end of the revolution. Khomeini also constructed in addition to the shrine of Fatima Masume and added more space for pilgrims. In addition, the tomb of Ayatollah Khomeini utilizes architectural elements that are similar to Fatima Masume's shrine, such as the Golden Dome. Number 5. Jame Mosque, Yazd. The twin minarets of Jame Mosque saw 52 meters, 171 feet, high, dominating and adding a splash of turquoise to the otherwise mud brick skyline. Once the site of a 15th century fire temple, this mosque offers visitors a dizzying array of artistic features to admire and capture on film. The towering portal is adorned with exquisite calligraphy and complex geometric patterns, while the interior is replete with honeycomb tiles, Kufic script, and plasterwork, all leading to the dreamy star-filled dome. The mosque is a fine specimen of Persian architecture. The entrance is decorated from top to bottom in tile work. Within is a long arcaded courtyard where, behind a deep-set southeast Iwan, is the sanctuary chamber. One of the amazing attributes of the Jamie Mosque of Yazd is that the lighting system is obtained indirectly by the reflection of light from the white plaster of the dome and the walls. Number 4. Sheikh Safi al-Din Kanagar and Shrine Ensemble, Ardabal. Located in the northwestern city of Ardabal, Sheikh Safi al-Din is the eponymous mosque of the leader of Sufi mysticism. Constructed between the 16th and 18th centuries, it includes a fusion of Sufi and Iranian traditional construction as well as representations of the seven stages and eight attitudes of Sufi mysticism in its architecture. This shrine ensemble joined UNESCO ranks in 2010. One of the unique features of the tomb of Sheikh Safi al-Din Ardabili is that it contains several valuable works of art on different themes of art, including the perfect type of mosaic tiles, vaulted tiling with painting, stuccos, beautiful precious inscriptions, and the wonderful calligraphy of the greatest calligraphers of Safavid era Mir Ahmad Hassani, Mir Kavamodan, Muhammad Ishmael, etc., precious wood carvings, silversmithing, illuminated manuscripts and goldsmithing, paintings, using a different style of stonework, etc. Number 3. Blue Mosque, Tabriz. The Blue Mosque of Tabriz was built upon the order of Jahan Shah, the ruler of the Kara Koyunlu. Jahan Shah's wife, Katan Jan Begum, est established the endowment, VAQF, for the mosque's construction. However, just a few years later, Jahan Shah and his Kara Koyunlu were toppled by Uzan Hassan of the Ak Koyunlu, and Tabriz was taken. Jahan Shah's daughter, Sayla Katan, was allowed to oversee the rest of the construction work by the new rulers. The patchy walls of missing magnificent blue tiles from the imposing entrance of the Blue Mosque are in fact scars it still bears from the damage it suffered in a massive earthquake in 1779. Inside, the mosque displays examples of fine Islamic calligraphy, including Kufic and Thuluth scripts, as well as arabesque and geometric patterns. Not quite as grand or majestic as its brothers in Esfahan or Shiraz, the Blue Mosque is still one of the most beautiful despite its imperfections. Number 2. Aga Bozorg Mosque, Kashan, the mosque has been described as the finest Islamic complex in Kashan and one of the best of the mid-19th century. Noted for its symmetrical design, it consists of two large iwans, one in front of the mihrab and the other by the entrance. The courtyard has a second court in the middle which comprises a garden with trees and a fountain. The iwan in front of mihrab has two minarets with a brick dome. It was here where Ustid Ali Mayim as a pupil started his career as an architect. Along with the historic houses, the 19th century Aga Bozorg Mosque is one of Kashan's must-see attractions. Adjoining arcades, tiled minarets, and a modest dome reflect typical Islamic structures, while a sunken courtyard and towering windcatchers add elements of elegant Persian architecture. The beauty of this humble brick mosque is enhanced by intricate woodwork, mirrorwork, plasterwork, and geometric tiles. It's a peaceful location to spend some time with your thoughts. Number 1. Goharshad Mosque, Mashhad. Goharshad Mosque was built by order of Empress Goharshad, the wife of a 15th century Timurid dynasty ruler. Once a freestanding mosque, it is now encompassed within the Imam Reza shrine complex. And serves as one of the prayer halls whose courtyard is brimming with pilgrims. The azure dome adds a lovely contrast to its neighboring gold cupola, and beautiful Thuluth inscriptions adorn the walls, making it an exceptional example of Islamic architecture. The double-layered dome of the mosque was severely damaged in 1911 in bombings by troops of the Russian Empire. 
In the 1960s, over five centuries after its initial construction, the Dome of Gohashad Mosque was deemed to be in severe structural danger, damages caused by various earthquakes over time, the 1911 Russian bombings, and the attack on the mosque by Reza Shah during the 1935 rebellion required the dome to be rebuilt. What do you think of this list? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.